Hi everybody, my name is Samer Audi. Recently, I set out to demonstrate all the security tools in Kali Linux. This is video number six in the series. If you're finding these videos helpful, please like and subscribe and don't forget to turn on notifications. We're still in the information gathering group and today we only have two easy tools, NetDiscover, which is an ARP reconnaissance tool and it allows us to perform both active and passive ARP reconnaissance. ARP is the address resolution protocol and basically NetDiscover captures and sniffs ARP packets. And the second tool is NetMask is, is more like a utility, a generation conversion uh, utility that uh, comes in handy okay so let's get to know our tools for today as you can see net discover requires sudo or root access these are the two main options that we will be using the I for the network interface or the network device. So for example, at zero or WLAN zero and R for the network range, meaning you can specify slash eight slash 16 slash 24. In our case, we will be using class C network and therefore slash 24. If you don't specify, you will see that NetDiscover will run a class B uh, range, which is uh, 65,536 hosts. We will be using the P option to run a passive mode where NetDiscover will not send anything but just sniff network traffic or ARP packets. Simply no options, just run NetDiscover as it is and notice that I access the terminal as root. Notice the default slash 16, which will take a while. As you can see, it already discovered my two targets, so I will stop this scan. I will run now NetDiscover using the I option for the network device or the network interface. But before that, let me show you what I'm talking about. So as you can see here, this is my network device at zero or ethernet zero. I will stop it because I don't want it to run the full scan. So now I'm using the class C or slash 24 with the R option. However, you notice that it's already finished and it discovered or captured no R packets. This is an issue in one of the packages I noticed in Kali 2020 and Kali 2021. So basically there is a fix for it and I will show you very quickly. We will simply download and install the libpcap package. The current one uh, that is being used in Kali is in testing mode. So this is a stable package that we will use instead. This is it, the package is downloaded and all we need to do is to install it. And then just the name of the package. Okay, it's done, so let us try again. And this, as you can see, solved the problem. We can also run NetDiscover in a passive mode. 
This is it. As you can see, NetDiscover is a relatively easy tool. You can use it whenever you want to perform ARP reconnaissance. So let's see our next tool, NetMask. Let's get to know it using MAN. As you can see, it's a generation and conversion program. This is actually a very helpful tool for my students in case any of them are watching this video because sometimes I ask them to do some conversions and this will do the job for them. So let's see who's watching. As you can see here, I can use uh, hex conversion, octal, binary, and basically the input that we give the tool is something like an IP address. So we will try a couple of options. We will use the standard output. We will use hex, octal, binary. This is octal conversion. Let's try hex. And let's try binary. Okay. So students would love that. This is the actual IP address and this is the mask 255, 255, etc. This is the S option, which is a standard output, the IP address and the mask. Another interesting thing that I want to show you is this option right here which is the range okay this sometimes confuses my students so let's see how we can use the range so it's just a single ip address so it's from 128 to 128 however if i specify a network address using let's say slash 24 what is the range from what to what? You should know the answer. It would be from dot zero to dot 255. So as you can see here, the last octet is zero and the last octet is 255 up to 256 host in a class C network. Let's see class B, which is 65,536 basically this will range from 0 to 255. This will range from 0 to 255. 2 to the power 8 is 65,536. Let's see it. And there it is. Anybody remembers the class A network slash 8? How many hosts? 16,770,000, So as you can see, NetMask is a nice utility and definitely it will help you in the upcoming practical exam.